Hi everybody, Scott Dillon here from the North American Business Process Intelligence team. And after a small hiatus, um, I'm back. And so I wanted to take a little bit of time to get pretty familiar with the Signavio solution before I started creating some content to share with you like I've uh, been doing over the past few years with BTP. So today is the first video in a series of videos that I will publish that's gonna give you some insight into the way that the Signavio toolset works. And so step number one, really important, really basic, how do you create content? So there's no less than four ways that you can create content using this tool. And today we're gonna to start with the easiest way, which if you see my screen, let's just jump right in. You'll see there's a create button. We're gonna click it. We're gonna click on create quick model. And so one of the distinguishing factors between the Signavio tool set and some of the other tools that are out there on the market is that it's designed for business users. So you can see now in front of me, um, I'm gonna just give this a name, LinkedIn, and I'm gonna call it model um, one, because I'm gonna give you four options and this will be the first one. So I just need to give it an organization name. I need to give the process a start and an end, so I'll just label it start and end. And then down below, right, you see something labeled activities. It's essentially a table. So if you can populate an Excel table, you can create a business process model with Signavio. So here I'm gonna say, um, Classic um, sales order scenario, so create uh, create order. And if I were to stop there, just hit enter, uh, create, create delivery. Boy, I can't type today, create delivery. Um, manage invoice. And so now you see uh, what it's doing is it's creating the diagram based on the the table entries. And what's really important here is that it's creating a BPMN 2.0 compliant diagram just based on this table. Now you can see there's another column here with the who. And so if I were to put in uh, creating who, if I were to put in a couple of letters, it's going to look into our dictionary. And so the dictionary is basically a, uh, a place where we can have reusable entries. And we'll do that in another video. But here you can see I can select something that's been predefined. So I'll select the sales rep uh, and maybe uh, for the deliveries, I can say the shipping specialist or the shipping department manager, and maybe the invoice, maybe this would be our, one of our, um, uh, maybe the billing clerk. So as you can see, I'm just selecting entries from the dictionary and right away, the business process modeling diagram is indicating the three swim lanes with the responsible role potentially. And then just to kind of show you one other little thing, like perhaps I want to include in there um, maybe the IT system. And of course, not everything is SAP, but let's just pick SAP in this case to show you what happens when I select that. Again, it would update the diagram. As easy as that. So if you can, again, if you can populate a table, fill out an Excel spreadsheet, you can be responsible for and be the creator of business process models that help you own your company. So this is the idea. I'm going to click save. And it's as simple as that. And we're done. So this is option one. Stay tuned, keep an eye out for option two, maybe later in this week or early next week. Take care, bye-bye.